John here, guys, and today we're talking about FPV Flight Dynamics, the textbook on FPV. This is sent to me by the guy that literally wrote the book on FPV, Christian Mullica, and has a very nice signed inscription to yours truly. I'm going to do a reading rainbow style uh, read through of just a page or two of some of this textbook because I say textbook because it looks like the official textbook of FPV, but it's really a lot more entertaining. You know, I remember as a kid going to the library in elementary school and checking out the book Our Universe, which was written so masterfully and had so many of those incredible illustrations in there of other planets, of stars, of other celestial bodies, and I just checked that thing out over and over and over again. And man, what a blast from the past because this feels like a modern day equivalent to that. And it's on something that we all love, FPV, which is flying drones in manual mode. Welcome pilots, enter FPV Flight Dynamics, the in-depth handbook designed to catapult rookies and intermediates into the advanced levels and beyond. Whether you're new to UAVs, a camera drone operator looking to ditch the training wheels and dive into acro, or an experienced mini quad ripper stuck in FPV's dreaded purgatory, this guide will arm you with the skills needed to break through plateaus, master your instruments, and unlock the third dimension. This visual manual spans 30 chapters and features over 220 full color illustrations, including stick schematics, 3D diagrams, photos, and infographics presented alongside detailed analysis of more than 45 unique tricks and maneuvers, including power loops, the split S, knife edge orbits, juicy flicks, matty flips, trippy spins, and all the other flippity floppities in there. There's even a section on the truffle shuffle. Do it! <laughs> okay, maybe not the truffle shuffle. Let's master all three of FPV's disciplines, racing, freestyle, and cinematic by learning what to practice, how to practice it, and most importantly, in which order. Don't just fly your machine, become the machine. Let's go ahead and get to the bench where I'm going to read you guys your favorite bedtime story. FPV Flight Dynamics by Christian Mullica signed. Uh, what's a beautiful addition to the thing. I really love this opening page. Turn page to start in a video game like text. What is FPV? It is what it isn't. Uh, it's not so steep of a learning curve. If you learn about it, crash and consequence, lipo battery management, and the course goes on and on. Throttle management, and then for the advanced users at the back, flips, rolls, spin, rotations. So this really covers from the absolute beginner, uh, going over concepts as well. Let's start off by reading the first page of section one, the ABCs of FPV, defining what FPV is and what it isn't. High performance, what is an FPV drone and what does it mean to fly FPV? FPV simply stands for first person view. It's an acronym used to signify the pilot operates the drone from the first person perspective where an onboard camera sends live video from the cockpit down to the ground. Yet nearly all modern drones are flown precisely in this way. Technically consumer models like DJI Phantom are drones that allow you to experience FPV flight to draw a clear line between camera drones and mini quads. We must refine our definition of what FPV is and what FPV is not. I'll use the Phantom and the five inch freestyler drone as benchmarks for their respective categories. Understanding what makes these two machines different puts you in the proper mindset to approach learning acro mode. If you're an experienced camera drone pilot, then you may be surprised to learn just how much they do for you automatically. FPV pilots must micromanage all aspects of their drone, both in the air and on the ground. 
it may be misleading to label mini quads as high performance drones i must be implying that a camera drone is blatantly inferior right that all depends on which metrics of performance we're talking about camera drones are aerial tripods that allow their pilots to take photos and videos from a vantage that just a decade ago was impossible only by plane or helicopter and for better or worse they can do it with virtually no training operating a camera drone is like riding in the back seat of a luxury suv as your chauffeur delivers you to your destination the logistics of travel are handled mainly by the drone itself freeing up the pilot to focus on their mission at hand these machines prioritize efficiency and aerodynamic stability resulting in prolonged flight times extensive range Ranges and user friendliness. On the opposite end of the spectrum, FPV mini quads are like stripped down rally cars with bucket seats and roll cages. They're designed for speed and agility and the at the expense of everything else. As the pilot, you're strapped in and fully engaged with every ounce of your being focused on operating the machine moment by moment. When comparing the specs of the Phantom with the Freestyler, it's hard to defend the position that mini quads are high performance to the average consumer. While their costs are comparable, the Phantom earns the checkmark in nearly every category, save for a few. Any rational person is sure to ask themselves, why would I want the mini quad again? The answer is because it delivers a dynamic visual experience to the pilot and that the camera drone does not. All mini quads, i.e. high performance FPV multi rotors, rotors have three things in common that bring this experience to life. A high maximum thrust to weight ratio, a manual flight mode, and a static camera. Let's explore each of these features as I in introduce some important topics covered in the chapters to come. Uh, so, and then it has this beautiful chart that you can see right here. Uh, some of the notable things on the chart are that a camera drone like the Phantom 4 has 28 minutes of flight time where a freestyle drone has three minutes of flight time. Uh, the range is going to be much more on the Phantom 4. Uh, there's going to be lots more intelligent flight modes and sensors like auto stabilization and the max speed of the Phantom 4 is 45 miles an hour, although an FPV freestyle drone can go over 100 miles an hour or more. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you reading up on FPV? You know, I really like to have a book like this around just for whenever friends and family come over. They might want to see a couple of drones. They might want to have a little bit of explanation, but they can't really understand the concepts. But anybody can flip through and read this. And if you really have that person in your life that maybe doesn't have the time to go dive straight in, but wants to start learning, you can just hand it over and they can start their own journey. Thanks guys.